What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and some of you dudes may know that I've been working on a section which showcases Smash Brothers mods for the Wii U version of the game. The only problem with this is that the process can be a little complicated. So what I wanted to do is give you guys a nutshell version, compressed short version of exactly what the process is, what it requires out of you, how long it will take, and what you can expect at the end of it. Let's go over exactly what materials you need to be able to start with Smash Brothers mods. If you're brand new to the scene, you haven't done anything to your Wii U, basically fresh off the motherfucking boat, your standard. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need starting off right here, right now. This is going to be a nutshell version though, so of course I'm not going to get too heavy into details with this video, but I will be uploading videos very shortly which will be showcasing the further details, the exact steps, the programs you need, and exactly what you have to do to get mods working. But right now, just nutshell. The first thing that you're going to need to start the modding process is an SD card, and I suggest getting one that's minimum 4 gigs big. I have one that's 32, but you don't need all that space, but 4 gigs minimum should be just about enough. The SD card can also either be totally empty or it can have stuff on it already. It doesn't really matter in the long term. And it can even be the SD card that you've currently been using in your Wii U. Just make sure that you have a good amount of space left on it. So 4 gigs, empty or full, doesn't matter. And the one that you're using in your Wii U is currently fine. The next thing that you're going to need for this is obviously a fucking Wii U. I mean, you can't do Smash Mods without the actual Wii U. I mean, I don't know if these things work for 3DS or not. We're not even going to go into that. But you're going to need a Wii U and it can be updated to the latest firmware. It's totally fine. As of the time this guide is going up, it's June 2016. The current latest firmware version is 5.5.1 US for you know, the United States and all that stuff. I'm not sure if this will be relevant or actually true at later points in time, but currently right now, June 2016, that is going to be okay for you to be updated to the latest version. And the final thing that you're going to need is Smash Bros. Wii U. Now, this can be updated to the latest version as well, 1.1.6 is the current thing in June 2016. This may change later on, but currently this will work just fine if you update it to the latest Smash Brothers Wii U version. So if you have all these materials, this means that you can actually start the process for modding Smash Brothers on your Wii U. The first major step in this process is going to be a process called dumping. Now, the way that this works, and this may be a little rough, but the way this works is apparently you have Smash Brothers on your Wii U, and you're also going to have a version of Smash Brothers on your PC. It'll basically be the game itself, and we usually refer to it as being the dump. So the dump is basically the game, but hosted on your PC. The reason why we need Smash Brothers on your computer, or the dump, as I'm going to be referring to it from now on, the main reason why we need the dump on your computer is so you can apply the mods to it directly from there, and then put them on the SD card transfer that to your Wii U, and then that's how the mods will run. The only difficult part about this is that making an actual dump of your game to your computer is a very tedious process, usually taking anywhere from 1 to 10 hours, and it's highly susceptible to errors, mistakes, uh, things getting totally thrown off, and then you having to start it over again from the beginning, but it's not all that bad. In my upcoming tutorial videos, which will be coming out very, very soon, I'm going to be explaining the dumping process from start to finish, so this way, you can be walked through entirely and see how it plays out, even if you're scared of the process yourself. One thing that I also want to clarify for everyone is that this process poses no danger to your actual Wii U. One of the running jokes on my channel is that, yeah, Etika is going to be bricking his Wii U, but that's not the case. These things cannot harm your console no matter what. And they're actually much easier to run than something on the 3DS of equal nature, so you can alleviate those concerns. So one more time, just to recap, your Smash Brothers game is dumped to your computer, Mods are then downloaded to your computer and applied to the dump. Those modified files are put on the SD card and back into your Wii U, where the Wii U will load the mods using exploits and then be able to play them on the actual game. I've simplified it a lot, and obviously you can't use this to follow the exact steps, but that's just an overview of exactly what the process is, and in the next day or two, we're going to be uploading tutorial videos showing you exactly what to do every single step of the way to enable this process and to make sure that it works for you perfectly fine. All right, thanks for dealing with me. I'll talk to you guys later on. Look forward to those tutorial videos. I worked extremely hard on them. I put my fucking soul into these videos. So talk to you guys later. Peace.